to allergic rhinitis, the three secrets you need to heal fast without antihistamines and without abusing the tissue box or your toilet paper. If you've been wondering how to heal allergic rhinitis naturally, maybe you're taking the antihistamines like I did for 15 years, tried the weekly desensitization, took the steroid nasal sprays, and that's no real solution because they are highly addictive and they are not addressing the root cause. In this video, you're gonna learn how to cure, like really cure, not medicate symptoms, but cure allergic rhinitis for good. So you can enjoy being in nature, being outside to the fullest and rolling around in the meadow. Let's go. Secret number three. And I really want you to let that sink in like deeply. Close your eyes and listen. There's nothing wrong with your immune system. Your body is not attacking itself or the harmless pollen neither. What allergic rhinitis really is, it's a cry for help from your body. It's a symptom that signalizes you that something in the body needs addressing. And again, like treatments like desensitization, taking the antihistamines, they're doing the opposite of healing allergic rhinitis. They're just suppressing your symptoms and they actually make it worse over time. And Garfila, I have not just read this somewhere. I've been there. I've been dealing with allergies for 15 years, almost from the beginning of my life until I was able to heal myself and can do this right now with zero medication. So now, what is the real cause? The underlying root cause for your allergic rhinitis symptoms. We need to know that in order for addressing it. Can't heal what we're not connected to. Do you have any guesses? If it's not your body's fault and it's not your immune system going crazy? One, two, three. Number one root cause for allergic rhinitis, for seasonal allergies, for pet dander allergy, cat hair allergy, even mold sensitivity is a pathogenic bacteria called strep or streptococcus. And that one gets stronger with any antibiotics that you take. Yeah, maybe in your childhood you had a lot of infections like me, I had a lot of lung infections, a lot of coughing and got tons and tons of rounds of antibiotics. But even if you're never taking antibiotics and you're just eating chicken like conventional chicken, you get the antibiotics from the chicken as well. And those ones also feed strep. Strep bacteria nests in your sinus. Yeah, it can be there for decades. And also in your liver, which stores up all the medications, all the pathogens and all of that, it's like a sponge. Now, the reason why those allergies get worse when, for example, the women have their menstruation or an ovulation time, or when you're exposed to pollen or mold, it's not because of that flower or this pollen. Yes, that it's a trigger. It agitates the body more, but it's not the root cause, it's a symptom. I really want you to know that because nature is your friend. For example, a congested liver is overburdened with medication, with stress, with pathogens, with toxins that contributes to the allergic reaction because there's too much histamine in the body. Yeah, there is, the body is like in this alert state. But again, the root cause, the number one root cause is strep bacteria. What this all boils down to and what, for example, antihistamines, what they address is histamine. The more histamine is released into your body, the more inflammation. This wraps up number three secrets and we talk about histamine in the bonus tip when I give you my number one supplement that works better than any antihistamines and it actually addresses the root cause. Make sure you stick with me until the end. Secret number two, after sharing this, we are either going to be enemies or you're gonna be like okay I try it you're definitely not gonna like me because this is gonna affect your diet I wish any doctor any naturopath that I went to would have shared with me when I was dealing with abusing the tissue box or the toilet paper not going anywhere without my antihistamines my nasal spray and my tissue box if you really want to heal allergic rhinitis there's gonna be a price for it yeah, but the price is so worth it. It's just about getting into the rhythm and then you never want to go back. So let's make it concrete. What are we talking about? Certain foods feed pathogens in your body especially streptococcus, but also other pathogens. The good thing is that most pathogens, they like mass or minus the same things. Here are the things that you need to avoid. And again, if you click off and you click like that thumbs down button right now, and you're like, Peggy, you're crazy. What is this woman talking about? I understand it would upset me as well, but this is going to be a life changer for you. It's going to be worth to give it a try if you want to. First food group that needs to go out is dairy. Any dairy products, the cheese, the probiotic yogurt. I don't, it doesn't matter if it's organic or not. It's not about that. Second is gluten. Any types of gluten, barley and spelt. There are a lot of gluten-free grains that you can eat like quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, gluten-free oats. So the alternatives here are really, really good for you in this case. And the last one on that list, those are the three main ones. So you're not going to click off. There are a few more, but these are the biggest ones that make a difference. If you leave them out after seven days, even you already feel 
you can breathe again. So the third one is eggs. Yes, I know they're delicious, they fill you, they're inexpensive, I understand, but they're not good for your allergic rhinitis. If you're still watching and you're like, yeah, Peggy, but what do I eat then? I need to eat something, right? Those are the three things that I eat the most in my life. I got you covered. I developed a meal plan, which is called the One Week Gut Healing Challenge, which helps you transition. It's delicious, it's simple to make, and it will help you with your sinus as well because allergies and gut health, they're 100% connected and you can definitely heal and do that without this and without more antihistamine. Now, gut feeler, before we come to the number one secret that helped me heal my allergies and it's become my best friend, daily use, I'm going to show you what I mean. And the bonus tip at the end, the supplement that will really help you with addressing the symptoms and the root cause both at the same time. I want to know from you, what have you tried to get rid of your allergic rhinitis, which did not work? Like, it's okay to vent a little bit because you've been cheated on and it's not your fault that you're still dealing with the seasonal allergies and the allergic rhinitis. I just hope that it's not going to take you 15 years to heal that. Take a moment to pause the video, comment below now, and then I'm going to introduce you to my best friend. Comment, 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 comment. Here's the one herb that changed my life and helped me get rid of allergic rhinitis, allergic sinusitis, seasonal allergies, and all the itchiness and the rashes and the tissue box. Drum rolls, please. Here's my best friend from the plant kingdom, stinging nettle. Look at this guy. This is the best natural antihistamine that you can get. It's more powerful than any antihistamines. It contains quercetin and it comes with zero side effects. Well, it's actually not true. It does have a lot of side effects, but they are benefits. They are not negative. I recently wrote an in-depth article about the seven about the seven, six health benefits of nettle leaf. And there also is a whole playlist where I'm just talking about my friend. So you can watch that if you want to learn more about this guy. You can use it in a smoothie. If they are wilted and dried already, then they can be used as a tea. You can also do nettle soup. And again, if you need help with what to eat, nettle recipes are also part of the gut healing challenge. This is going to be your best friend to heal naturally, address the root causes and reduce your symptoms from allergic rhinitis. I'm going to keep my promise. Here is the bonus tip. Remember we talked about histamine? Whenever you hear histamine, you can think inflammation. And that's not a bad thing. That's something natural that happens in your body. Histamine release into the tissue starts the inflammation cascade. The itchiness, the redness, the sneezing, the mucus, that has started with histamine. There's one mineral that I recommend that personally helped me a ton to reduce my symptoms, but also addresses the root cause. And it's critical when you're healing from seasonal allergies like allergic rhinitis as a symptom. I'm going to tell you what it is and maybe you're guessing already you can let me know in the comments below. The two reasons why this mineral is so critical for you if you're dealing with allergic rhinitis. This mineral actually helps to address the root cause because it kills pathogens like resistant strains of strep and secondly it supports your immune system. This is really key when you're dealing with allergies. By stabilizing the cells that are releasing histamine. This mineral helps to make the cell walls stronger so your body does not react that quickly with <gasps> whenever you encounter some pollen. So it's less histamine, less inflammation, less symptoms. I'm talking about zinc. Now before you go out there, okay, she said zinc, so I'm going to buy the zinc that I find in my pharmacy. Stop, 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 stop. No, really, really bad mistake that I've made myself because most zinc supplements, they are total trash. For example, like zinc oxide, this stuff is not bioavailable. It's good for the plants. It's not for your human body. There are two forms that are absorbable by your human body and that actually make a difference in your symptoms. This is zinc sulfate and zinc glycinate. I personally prefer zinc sulfate because it's in a liquid form and easier to absorb. Make sure before you buy a zinc supplement that there are no toxins in there. No extra ingredients which do not have any medicinal purpose in your body and toxic fillers just to bulk it up and to make it more expensive. I'll link you my favorite zinc supplement in the description below. So make sure you check that out before you buy anything. This is my best recommendation. Worked for clients and worked for myself.